Hey guys, it's Alex E with TFB TV, and for today's field strip, we're going to be looking at a CZ805 Bryn pistol. This is, of course, a pistol version of the Bryn rifle that's being implemented in Czech military service and replacing the VZ58 rifle. Um, you know, these are very cool guns. They're coming in in pistol form right now because bringing in a rifle is a lot more difficult due to United States import laws. I find it kind of strange that bringing in a gun that's more concealable is tougher than bringing in one that's less concealable, but I digress a little bit. On with the field strip, one thing I don't like about the CZ805 is that you can't open the bolt and check if there's a round in the chamber without putting it on fire, so that makes press checks a little bit, eh, not difficult or confusing, but less than ideal in my opinion. So let's do a quick chamber check and verify that there's no round in there and get on with it. Go ahead and remove these pins here so you can separate the lower receiver from the gun. These are non-captive pins. After those pins are removed, you can go ahead and rip that lower receiver right off of there. And I would like to say that the trigger on this is actually quite good for a military trigger. I've really got no complaints in, in the way of the trigger pull or, or creep or anything like that. Now next step, you're going to remove this back plate by pressing a button and sliding it upwards. If the rifles are anything like a G36, they won't be like this. So after this, go ahead and pull your recoil guide rod assembly out from the rear. Pull the charging handle out from the carrier and remove the bolt and carrier from the rear. After this, go ahead and depress this little spring-loaded bit on the front of the rifle near the gas regulator. Rotate that regulator and remove it from the front of the gun. At this point, you should also be able to remove the piston. So really, that's all that goes into field stripping a CZ805. They're reasonably simple, but my biggest complaint is that you can't actually separate the bolt from the carrier without a punch. While they are piston operated and there's not a whole lot of carbon and soot and other deposits that would make these two parts really have trouble and seize or anything like that, I really hope that CZ listens to consumers and addresses that and replaces it with an easily pushed out pin. Um, every other rifle has one. I don't understand why this one doesn't. So with that being my real only major gripe with it, I think this will be a, a very cool rifle. It's um, certainly interesting. It's impressively light relative to its peers like the SCAR and the ACR. So as soon as that SBR stamp gets back and the 922R compliant uh, parts kits come in, I really hope to do a full review. Big thanks to Ventura Munitions, and we hope to see you all next time.